Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. Today's uh, video has to do with uh, Poland, uh, it, uh, Poland's handlers, and uh, on the other side, um, Russia, and, amin and in the middle, Ukraine. So, as uh, many of you, or all of you, know that Ukraine is not part of the war between Russia and uh, and Ukraine. Um, Poland is bordering the uh, western border of uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia is uh, bordering the eastern side of Ukraine. Uh, Poland is the main route of uh, supply uh, provided to Ukraine by its handlers and by its own army and uh, um, leaders, put it that way. Uh, who enter Ukraine mostly through Poland. So Poland is half with his one foot in the war and with one foot outside. The foot in the war is the one that they supply their own uh, military equipment, like T-72 and other stuff, and allow others to use their territory to supply through the board, common border to Ukraine. That's the foot in the war. And the foot outside of the war is that Russians are not allowed to uh, retaliate against Poland because Poland is not in a war, you see. So, nevertheless, um, the, the Poles uh, had always had big words uh, against Russia. They had against everybody. If you just want to look in the history, they don't like anybody. Like, for instance, Ukrainians don't like anybody. Romanians don't like anybody. Why? Because they, their histories are so tangled with previous historical crimes and events that, you know, people really stays in the conscious of a nation. So I know Ukrainians don't like Poles. I know that. For a first-hand uh, source, says, and uh, from uh, other uh, incidents that occur between the, uh, those two countries. I know the Russians don't like the Poles. I know the Poles don't like the Russians. I know the Poles don't like the Ukrainians. I know the Poles don't like the Romanians. I know the Romanians don't like the Poles. So there you have it. So this artificial love now all of a sudden among nations is just uh, mass media, okay? And just, I need you now. I love you. Once this is over, we go back to our hatred to one another. That's how it goes. Uh, who ignore, who uh, tries to make an argument against this, um, then go ahead, love us all, but we won't love you. That's how it goes, and that's the way it's gonna go. The history, historical events are too strong to make the national conscience be erased. There you have it. Next one. So, the Poles are helping, and they have big mouths, and they say this, and they said that, towards the Russians. And now Russians smack them back, and all of a sudden, what do the Poles do? They cry, they cry, and they look at their bosses, United States, and say, he hit me, what am I supposed to do? And they're all like, ah, the Americans say, I don't know, man, keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing great, you're doing great, it's great, great, great. But I got smacked, it's okay. We don't, we didn't, you did, that's fine. It's fine, we didn't get smacked, you got smacked. So that's fine, keep going, keep going. So, uh, so the Poles uh, are whining now, uh, obviously, because they got smacked back. So um, uh, let's go with this uh, first article, which talks about a, uh, some deliveries of um, uh, armament by Poland, uh, let alone um, uh, Slovakia, who uh, provided the S-300s to uh, Ukraine and is not part of the war. Uh, so here from Defense News, uh, Yaroslav Adamowski, Adamowski all right, uh, from April 26th says this, Poland confirms T-72 tank delivery to Ukraine with Challenger 2 tanks to fill a gap. So, Ukraine gave its tanks that it has to Ukraine to kill the Russians. Ukraine, U Russians has to be okay with that and should look at, at, at the Poles as, uh, I don't know, uh, fantastic people for helping my enemy to kill me. That's the mentality. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, the, the, the Poles will order more armament from the new uh, uh, suppliers, which is the United States. Great, great. The United States is there. Okay, you're doing great. Now, after this, we have here another article dealing with Poland. They start crying after it does that because they did something fantastic and they should not be punished by 
the Russians who get killed because I gave them the armament to kill me. But they should not. They don't have daughters, children, mothers. No, 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 uh, no. So from Market Watch, uh, for Market Watch April 26, 2022, the title is Poland says Russian warned that net gas supply will, in the future, stop on Wednesday. Right, today is Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, so Tuesday. Tuesday, and they say it's going to happen Wednesday. Then we go here to another article uh, from some other friends of ours, you know what I mean, saying that, uh, let's see here, wait a minute. All right, it's from Bloomberg. Bloomberg uh, 26, the same day, today, April April 26. It's, a, it's an hour and a half later than the other article was uh, available, where I got it from, uh, by Maciej, Maciej Onosko. Onosko, Onosko, something like that. And Maciej Martevic and Slav Obov, all uh, uh, Anglo-Saxon names. So this is the title, Russia to cut gas to Poland and Bulgaria in major escalation. Okay, that's good. That's good for the Russians. They, no, they retaliate, they hit back. Escalation. So what the Poles were doing by providing weapons to Russians' enemies and providing help and, uh, you know, having the border open and having advisors going over there and all that, that's not escalation. Giving someone more weapons to shoot and kill, that's not escalation. The other ones say, okay, you do that, then to me, I didn't do anything to you. You do to me first. Russia didn't do anything to Poland, did it? No. Did to Ukraine? Not to Poland. That's two different countries, just so you know. And then uh, the Russians say, you know what? Okay, Poland, it's enough. Cut the crap. We're going to turn it off. And then you can look at your bosses and maybe they can poop some gas for you and for free, like triple the price. So this is what happens. Um, Russia will, will cut off the gas to Poland and Bulgaria because remember Bulgaria uh, closes its uh, ports um, for Russian uh, um, ships because it's an embargo from European Union and uh, Bulgaria is not an independent country anymore, sovereign country. It has to listen to what the uh, European Union uh, tells them. There you have it. So if tomorrow they say to change your flag, Bulgaria, Bulgaria will do that because it's European Union. Um, uh, like Romanians, slave mentality. I told you about slave mentality or slave morality and master morality by Friedrich Nietzsche. So, all right, so it says Bulgaria on Wednesday, tomorrow, in a major, major escalation. So this is an escalation. Yes, it is an escalation. But the, the other one was not. Arming Ukraine was not. Oh, no. Okay, okay. All right, get out of here. All right, in a standoff between Moscow and Europe. Uh, well, Moscow did not have anything to do with Europe, did it? Did Moscow do anything to Europe? Did it to Ukraine, but not to Europe? Europe decided to do something against Russia first. And Russia said, okay, we're not going to just take it bent over, okay? We want to stand up and give it to you. How about that? And this is what happens. And now they, Russians are escalating. But you don't. You started it. You started against me and you escalate. Escalate, escalate, and escalate. And now you tell me when I smack you back that I'm escalating. Just put yourself, for instance, in each role. Put yourself in the Polish shoes, put yourself in the Europe shoes, in American shoes, and in the Russian shoes, and the Ukrainian shoes. And see how would you react when things are done like this to you, for instance. Uh, that's a fact that Russia did not do anything to Poland. Is it? Is it? Don't get me with Second World War. This was the uh, Soviet Union. Your friends who were in charge, remember? They were like, what, 80% non-Russians? Just take it out. So don't tell me the Russians. There were some people leading. Oh, you want me to give you Trotsky? Oh, no. Oh, you want me to give you Kaganovich? I mean, give you Stalin? Even Khrushchev, was, I think, was, uh, was Ukrainian, wasn't he? Oh, you want to go to Beria? Beria was not Russian. Just look where Beria is from. Uh, look, look at Yogoda. Yogoda is not Russian. So give me some Russian name. Gorbachev, who, that's why he's not living in, 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 Ru in Russia anymore for a long time. Since he, he got uh, uh, the Red Empire destroyed, he's not living over there. 
Did you wonder why? He lives in California and he gives only here. He comes over here and gives in the United States uh, all, all his uh, information and historical, but not, not in Russia. Do you wonder why? Are all Russians stupid or is this a guy who was on the payroll of someone? And uh, Cold War was not won with the, uh, you know, uh, supply and demand that is told is taught, taught here. Maybe it was different. Maybe it was something to do with uh, Gorbachev. Maybe it was with Yeltsin. Anyway, that's a different story. So don't don't go with that. Uh, that Russia did something to Ukraine, to, to Poland. Poland did the first thing here, and now he's got smacked back. And same with Europe, and they're all crying right now. They think that they thought the Russians will not do that. Well, guess what? They will. So European gas prices surged as much as 17 percent. Well, good, good. But you, as I always said. You're not going to have electricity, you're not going to have gas, you're not going to have food, you're not going to have heat, you're not going to have air conditioning, whatever, electricity. You know, children will not have food because you can't afford buying it. It's going to be more expensive. You're going to be starving, but it's okay. You will go to bed happy because you are moral. You were moral by doing this to Russia. That's great. If that's your full food for soul, that's good. That's good. Tell that to your children. They, I'm Certainly they will understand that. I'm pretty sure they will understand that. So anyway, Poland, uh, don't be so upset. And uh, uh, maybe you should just uh, did not get involved as you did. That's that's my observation. Uh, and uh, it's a good one, just so you know. I'm not going to back down from this. It's obvious. And you, you, the, your media, your Western media, uh, you know, claims that, oh, Poland is with us, helps us with this to provide this. And they provide tanks. To the enemy of the Russians. The Russians are not supposed to do anything by what the law? What law? I know what law. Stupid's law. But Russians are not uh, following the stupid's law. Sorry, Poland. And probably if you keep going and doing this, some rockets will miss the target in Ukraine and will just go other places, if you know what I mean. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, and I, I, I'm upset with this uh, hypocrisy. Very upset. The, the evidence is there. The fact is there. They're bragging about it. And then they call the other ones. They're escalating. They are. But what about you? Thank you for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth. And be just. See ya.